opening up the gazebo model that we have used in the last couple tutorials. Uh, and this is the model that we're going to use for the actual animation project. So if you have your own gazebo, go ahead and open that or open up the one that has been provided for you, which uh, looks like this. All right. Now, to start with, uh, you'll notice the project asks you do have to use a section view, uh, and then you also have to use a minimum of four different styles uh, while we create an animation. So, um, to start, uh, for my animation, I want to start with basically a blank screen, and I want to start the animation by having the gazebo basically be built uh, from the ground up, kind of start from nothing and then and raise up to the top where we'll see the 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 full gazebo. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start with the section view tool like we did in the, the last tutorial we had. And I'm going to click so I have that horizontal plane and um, I'm going to move it just a little bit down so it completely disappears and everything's gone. And from there I'm going to go up to the view tab down to animation and I'm going to add my first scene. Okay now we're going to start to get a lot of these scenes that go across the top each time we add a scene. Um, it'll pop up here and they'll number themselves sequentially. So our first one here is a scene where we really um, have nothing. We're starting with, with nothing there. Uh, but the gazebo is actually there with that section plane. Um, so really these scenes are basically like uh, photographs of each view that you take from around your model. So this is one we're going to start at. I've created that scene. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the section tool again. I'm going to move that section tool up. So now I actually see the gazebo. I'm going to try and turn those off. And I am going to create another scene. All right, so we have scene one. At scene one, we started with nothing. Flip over to scene two, we have our gazebo kind of pop out of the ground. Uh, and there we have it. So we have our first two scenes, and we have um, used the section tool, which was the first component that we had to do um, within this project. So uh, that's out of the way. Now, as we start to create more scenes, uh, we're going to do kind of a flyover uh, of this gazebo. And, and to do that, all you do is use your normal um, commands to change the view inside SketchUp so we can use our orbit commands, our pan, our zoom, um, you know, just, just switch from one view, and you come over to the side here, and randomly you're just kind of going to pick at a scene. Okay, so we started at the front, now we rotate it over to the side, I'm going to kind of rotate down to the back, maybe down a little bit, add a scene, back up top toward the front and I will add another scene. So, so far I've kind of gone around the whole gazebo, um, kind of flown all the way around it and I have my five scenes starting from the ground up and kind of um, a flyover from the outside perimeter of the gazebo. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk in toward the center of the gazebo And I'm actually going to use the pan tool, pan it up a little bit like I'm actually walking into it. And before I create the next scene, I'm going to go into our styles component, which we talked a little bit about before, and I'm going to choose a new style. Um, I'm actually just going to go in and pick one of the assorted styles that are already done, um, use the blueprint. So now I'm in the gazebo. And I'm going to go ahead and, and take another, add another scene. Now as I add out, or zoom out, kind of zoom up a little bit to the side. I'm going to change another style. Uh, let's make it a, oh, let's try a graffiti one here. Another 
other scene. So it really doesn't matter. You can you can zoom and pan and move around in all different directions. There's, there doesn't really have to be a rhyme and reason. You can get more technical if you want to create a an actual path. You can use uh, the circle or, or arc tools and create a specific path that you want to move cameras around. For the most part, you're just zooming to um, different areas to show uh, the gazebo from different directions and uh, we're going to keep changing the style as we go so that we get some different um, views of what it might look like. All right, so there's a nice straight line one. Add another scene. Rotate back toward the front. Change the style again. Let's try. x-ray view allows us to see through everything create another scene maybe come directly over the top here go with a go with sketchy view over the top add that scene Zoom in. I'm kind of at the steps of the gazebo, and I'm going to add one more. Let's change the style and add our last scene. And let's kind of zoom back out a little bit. And we'll get back to our original the original one we started with and kind of add a last scene to cap it off. All right, so we go from our original scene where we started and as we click through you'll see uh, they're going to change to all the different types of styles and views uh, that we had chosen. So once you have your scene set up and, and you see the tabs up here, if you go up to view and down to animations, you can play it. And it's just going to go through each tab one by one. Um, and show you what the animation is going to look like. Now here you'll notice that the camera is pausing uh, at the end of each scene and, and we want to stop that so what we're going to do is go to animation and we'll go into the settings and there's two things we can change in the settings. One, the transition, how long it takes to get from one scene to the next. Basically how quickly you want the camera to move um, from each scene. Uh, and We're going to go ahead and leave that at two seconds but the scene delay is how long it, it pauses at each scene and we're going to get rid of that so that it's, we have constant movement um, and kind of orbiting around the gazebo so we're going to change that to zero and then we'll go back up and we will play it and now you'll see that uh, there's not as much hesitation and we are um, we have constant movement as we orbit around and, and pan and move and I'm going to say that that's the way I want it. Okay, if, if you need to tweak it, you can go back in into each tab or each scene. Uh, if you right click, you'll have the options to be able to um, edit them or update them or even change them. You can add more scenes. Basically make the animation the, the way that you want it. Once you have it um, completed, there's an option to export. And we want to export the animation.